Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you my top five benefits of going vegan. So the first one would be anxiety and panic disorder. I used to eat a very standard American diet. Um, I would eat endless pizza slices, bags of Doritos, bagels with cream cheese, large double doubles from Tim Hortons at least five times a day, Diet Coke, you name it, I ate it. And um, I constantly struggled with having really awful headaches all day. And I remember just popping Advil every couple hours just to get through the day because my job was physically, mentally, and emotionally draining. Um, at the age of 24, I actually burnt out and I couldn't work anymore because I was just so stressed out and I suffered from awful, awful headaches. Um, when I went home from work, I would turn to food to make me feel better. I noticed a change in my mood and behavior as, you know, the months and stuff went on. I was negative, moody, irritable, and I was just starting to lose my patience with everybody around me. I just wanted to be alone because everybody was irritating me. Things got worse. I never wanted to go out with my boyfriend. We would both get invited to really fun parties, I'm sure. Um, but he would always go and I would stay home by myself because I just couldn't bring myself to leave the house and, you know, be around people. Everybody would ask me where I was um, when he went to the parties and he would just say, oh, she's sick, oh, she's not feeling good, or oh, she made other plans. And um, as time went on, they eventually stopped and then I just started to feel like nobody cared about me. Then it got even worse. I was terrified to leave the house and to take the bus or the train to get to my work. I couldn't even bring myself to walk my dog or put out the garbage. I would live in constant fear that something would happen to me or something would happen to a loved one and I was always keeping tabs with them, calling them and just stressing myself out because I was just so scared of losing them or of me dying. So I thought staying inside is way safer and um, that's basically what I lived in. I got a leave of absence from work because I couldn't perform my daily tasks. I went to therapy for about a year and I was prescribed Ciprolex to control my daily thoughts and emotions that I was having and um, because I suffered from panic disorder I would very 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 quickly um, just start shaking, getting red and feeling like I couldn't breathe. So I was taking this medication and every time I went he would up the dose because I still wasn't feeling better. Every time I took the Ciprolex, I felt like a zombie. It actually made me feel worse. I continued with my one-on-one -on -one therapy and I also enrolled myself into group therapy. It was there that I learned so much about the anxiety and panic disorder I was living with and it was very helpful because I got to share, um, you know, some of my fears and others got to share their fears with me. So it was just very, very helpful. I didn't feel alone because everybody who was in the room with me felt the exact same way and I started to feel more normal where as when I was sitting at home in my thoughts I felt like I was the only one and I was spiraling out of control. After therapy I knew that there was still something missing. I was absolutely terrified to go back to my old previous ways and my mental state. That's when I stumbled upon Freely the Banana Girl on YouTube. I must have watched every single video she ever made and I was so truly inspired. I knew that this was the lifestyle for me and I had to try it because she just looked so vibrant and full of life and not to mention I really, really, really was unhappy with how I looked as a person and I knew from binging because I felt so crappy all the time. I had a bunch of weight to lose. I started to cut out all of the meat and dairy from my lifestyle and I honestly felt so much better within the first week. Um, I did go through some detox, I had a lot of headaches, I was fatigued and felt a bit sluggish. I felt so much mental clarity since switching to a plant-based lifestyle. To this day, I still feel amazing on a plant-based lifestyle. I'm so happy that I came across it on YouTube and I was able to stick with it. Don't get me wrong, I am human. I still have my bad days, but they are nowhere near as bad as they were before. Um, you know, we all get down, we all get sad, we all get frustrated and all that stuff, but I really am able to calm myself down and um, I just feel like since switching to the plant-based lifestyle, I am just happier and more vibrant and more positive. Another benefit for going vegan is that I used to suffer from awful, awful canker sores. I would get canker sores on the inside of my mouth, um, mostly around my cheek areas and on the inner of my lips, inner lower lips. They were so painful I would cry. The pain that was just there and when they would rub against my teeth or when any liquid or food got anywhere near it, it would sting so bad. I actually had to go to the doctor 
and I got a special um, like liquid solution that I would put over the all of my canker sores that I would get um, and it burnt so bad but it would numb it and I couldn't really feel them anymore so that I could actually get food down. Since I have cut out meat and dairy, I don't experience canker sores anymore or any mouth tenderness. It's amazing. Heartburn was another thing that I really struggled with when I ate a lot of dairy and meat. I always said that I'm gonna be like my dad and struggle with heartburn for the rest of my life. Um, I thought it was hereditary because my dad has gets really bad heartburn if he eats certain foods, or so he thinks. I could not go anywhere without Tums or Rolaids. No matter what I ate at any time of the day, I would get like severe heartburn. It would actually start with bloating and really bad stomach pains. I actually looked pregnant because my stomach would just like protrude so far out. It almost felt like I was vomiting up like acid. It was just awful. Um, I remember people telling me that I should drink glasses of milk every time I had heartburn, so that's what I would do. When I felt the heartburn coming on, I would pop my Tums or Rolaids, whatever I had on hand, and I would chug a big glass of milk. When the glass of milk didn't work, I would just pop more Tums and more Rolaids. I just kind of had enough of people telling me, oh, eat this, eat that, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then instead, I just decided to listen to my body, and um, I cut out meat and I am so happy that I don't experience that awful pain anymore because I literally dealt with it on the daily. I would get really bad acne um, around my chin area right here and all along my jaw, especially when it was around that time of the month. Also, I really, for some reason, like to pick and I would pick and pick and pick and pick and unfortunately I had some really awful purple um, acne scarring and I didn't know what to do and instead I would just clog my pores with foundation because that's all I knew how to do. Since switching over to the plant-based lifestyle I don't um, break out anymore around my cycle. I think it was just um, something to do with my hormones before and I think since I am eating so clean and pure I don't add any extra hormones to my body. Um, it doesn't cause me to break out but when it's around the time of my cycle um, I normally don't break out, knock on wood. Um, and I don't get the awful, awful, painful clusters anymore around my jaw or chin area. Um, don't get me wrong, I am human. I still do get pimples here and there, just not as much as before. And that if I don't wash my face properly at night, like let's say I've gone out and I was wearing more makeup than usual and I don't um, properly wash my face, then that's when I notice I'll get a pimple the next day or if I've indulged in too much vegan greasy grub. Last but not least, we have reached the fifth benefit of going vegan. Um, my cycle. This might be TMI for some people, but I think a lot of girls struggle with this. I would get awful cramps, like I'm talking awful cramps, like bowling ball on my lower stomach, could not even sit up type cramps. I remember popping three to four Advils at a time every couple hours because I couldn't deal with the cramps. I couldn't even stand up. They were so bad. It got so bad that I would take a few days off work um, every month just because I couldn't bring myself to stand on my feet all day. My cycles also were super long, like I would say sometimes even almost two weeks and I it ruined my life because it just felt like it was never ending. Since switching to a plant-based lifestyle or vegan lifestyle, I hardly get cramps and they are very short, my cycles, um, and they definitely come and go and I don't even really notice them. It's just hey, it's there. That's really about it. I hope you enjoyed all of my benefits of going vegan. I hope this video helps some of you and I hope that some of you can relate with me. Um, I know when you're going through all of this, when you're transitioning or even if you're watching this and you don't eat a vegan diet, um, just know that you're not alone and um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you just have to power through it, do your research, and just make the commitment to transitioning over to the plant-based world. You won't regret it and you will experience so many benefits. I promise you that.